so hey what's up guys welcome back to the video so in this video this is the most demanded video of the spark os latest version which is being released for redmi note 10 out there for quite a few time and i am impressed with this custom room so i'll be talking about each and everything about this so if you are new to this channel and watch this content regarding this you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not so let's get started with the video so guys first of all i would like to talk about the smoothness of this custom room so if i open any app and close this any app even though i scroll the qs panel there isn't any lag but in some times you will face some of the lags but this does not create any sort of issues. Right now my battery is dis uh, lightly to be dis discharged so far but I am getting no issues over there also. Everything is working fine over there and the smoothness is good. If you want to get much more smoothness you can try out West Coast super fast kernel if your ROM does not have that also. Now talking about that now let's dig into the part of the customization and see how much damn great customization does it offers or not so this is the theme section and you get the monet engine support this you get the custom themes option and you can select according to your vivid monet according to your usage you can select that things also and it totally depends on the user to user if you want to select these ones like these you can just scroll it through that and you can just select that and you can see that after a few time it gets changed as you can see that it gets changed so it totally depends on your for colorfulness do you want or not these settings were working fine as you can see that so this is also a good thing that i think so far font setting is there this is much of the font settings not available likely few of the font settings available but there is a stability of that so that is good over there this is the icon shape of that that is good nobody uses much more that but yeah okay this is the main menu layout you can select to this oxygen os 12 and you can see that the main menu layout gets changed so far as you can see that there is any issue that you're gonna find so far now i have been through each and every setting and each and every setting we're working fine if i talk about each and every settings in the of the device then the video will get a bit much longer and no one gonna watch, watch it i can't edit that much video right now so this is the lock screen option and you can see that there is option of that torch and that is being present so there isn't an issue you can change also the clock style font is option is there like if i select the road rage you can see that the road rage option is there and it is been working if i just remove any of the notification you're gonna face that that is is been working out quite a few things now talking about the status bar, every status bar option is working fine. I have double cross checked that. If you select the battery bar, you can see that the battery bar appears to be working. So that is also been working in this device. Now talking about that, let's move to network traffic indicator and that is also been working. If I generally get to see you, then you can see that the network traffic indicator is been working out. So there isn't any issue over there and card icons, notification count, everything is been working. This is the miscellaneous section. Battery light doesn't work because there is no physical light, battery light present over this over this device also. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So now talking about system icon manager, system manager, everything is been there. Kill app button is there. And it will get enabled when you restart your device. Higher FPS in games. I haven't checked any games because I don't know how to play games. But I will try in the future to get that. And guys, if you're still watching the video and getting everything, what do you say? suitable to you all then you must subscribe to this channel and also give a like for me and this is much more option that you can have to check on your own because if i give you anything then it will be spoiled for you now already been covered about the customization so now let's move forward to talk about the benchmarks that i have took so far and how it does performs in this device so far so i have took them some of the screenshots over there so firstly i will talk about the security status so you are getting security level l1 so you are not getting any issues with the netflix i have also checked in the netflix so there is also l1 certification is being available so there isn't any issue over there the safety status does passes the device certification is also being there the device is certified so you don't face any issues this is the wildlife score and there is no optimization profile is being applied to this normal mode and it is good this is also the uh, op okay score and i think it's better score than MIUI and this is also a better scores now this is a 15 minute cpu throttling test at 100 threads and now you can see that throttling is 88 performance per, per throttle to 88 performance and this is the max 146 gips is being applied and the minimum is 117 so you all know about these things i'm not going to add detail 
first of all this is the new layout of that what do you say google search you get the launcher over there in the launcher you can get customize your all the things the theming icon is not working if i just enable what you say wallpaper and style and if you click on the themed icon it not gonna work but now you can see that the spark launcher option is there now it will gonna work right now so you can see that over there now you also getting the leica camera support and there isn't any issues over the leica camera or no green tint no black crush everything is working fine over there you are also getting the 4k 30 fps support of the camera and without any eis support let me check also no eis is been able because xiaomi is trying to do that if you uh, capture any video with that there is a pre enabled eis and that gives your best quality not worst quality to your device 48 megapixel is working fine if i check through what do you say if i have not installed what do you say files app but i will try to get that okay that is been working according to me because i have flash this rom second time because first time i have to remove this rom because of some of the reasons of there but if i got to check that okay the size is 20 mb so that's why it is being 48 megapixel and the 48 megapixel is working fine now coming part to a battery so i have checked to the battery and this is the application i have to each and everything about this and you can see that every detail is been mentioned in the application so far and from here you can see that the active drain is of either 0.2 percent per hour screen on time and you can see that deep sleep is of 20 hour so according to me the battery is overall good the charging speed is also working fine so you are not getting any of the issues now talking about is there any bug that i faced so far there is no any bug i am using my geo sim card without any issues the wi-fi speeds any everything is working fine now uh, talking about the device centric uh, systems and we are not getting any sort of updater on this and it is based on android 13 and thanks Bethel Das for maintaining this custom room and try to uh, if i give you any uh, suggestion then please try to give little bit of more smoothness to this device and if you want to remove remove some customization part you could remove but try to give some better smoothness but yeah this room is smooth so there isn't any issue that for those who are asking about the installation so you can easily flash it through the what do you say pixel os recovery pixel experience recovery even though if you can flash it through the ofox recovery also so this is all for the the device now should i recommend this custom room to you or not i can recommend this custom room to you or not if your preference is of the customization and little bit of the smoothness the banking apps is also working fine so you are not getting any sort of issues over there so you can try out if you want much more better stability you can check out other rooms also but this is also damn great so if you really did enjoy it, so if you really enjoyed watching this video must gonna subscribe and give a like to this video so i'll gonna meet you in the next video till then